and there's some hail coming and we got some rain but you can see my tree way out there it's bending in the wind took our flags down moved a few things checked on the animals which most of them have shelter the trash can lids got blown out The wind was at about 30 miles right now, so it's only supposed to last about an hour. We'll be back. This is a radar indicated threat. The following impacts are expected. Flying debris will be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be heavily damaged. Expect considerable damage to roofs windows, and vehicles. Extensive tree damage and power outages are likely. Locations in or near the path include Miami, Grove, Commerce, Fairland, Quipaw, Why Not, Pitcher, Ottawa, Peoria, Curtin, Twin Bridges State Park. This includes Interstate 44 between mile markers 299 and 324. All Oklahoma. For your protection, move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. The storm is producing destructive winds. Seek shelter now inside a sturdy structure and stay away from windows. To report severe weather, contact your nearest law enforcement agency. We will send a report to the National Weather Service Office in Tulsa. Repeating, a severe thunderstorm warning has been issued until 8.30 p.m. Central Daylight Time for the following county, Ottawa, Oklahoma. A severe thunderstorm warning remains in effect until 8.45 p.m. Central Daylight Time for southeastern Cherokee, Newton, and McDonald counties. At 7.55 p.m. Central Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm was located near Seneca, or 11 miles northwest of Neosho, moving southeast at 45 miles per hour. Well... The winds turned out not to be as bad as um, predicted, which is good. They predicted 80 mile winds, and we only had probably 30 or so according to our um, uh, wind gauge, but I do see uh, some of my pool needles, pool noodles blowing off my my plant so I'll come back out and get those back on there but the corn is still standing which is good and I was really concerned I was really concerned with this tomato plant getting knocked down but it looks pretty good so and there's a little four o'clock could be some more rain later today which is okay. But as a side note, I'm going to get all these tomatoes picked and brought into the house. I don't know if our corn's going to do anything or not. Probably because we don't see any silk, any tassels coming up. And our uh, canopy here. Um, the loofahs and the gourds is still up and the tops this asparagus didn't get blown over so I guess all in all it wasn't too bad just lots of rain and a very neurotic dog I'll be taking a nap later today these trees are still standing so I expected them I thought they could get knocked over but they seem to be okay so the garden was my big concern because the uh, front was coming from the north, but it looks like it's all pretty good. One more place I'm going to check. I don't know if this happened last night or not, but there is a broken branch within this tree, and this particular tree has had a few broken limbs from uh, weather fronts coming through. But there's nothing, nothing on the ground, and the chicken coop doesn't have any limbs on it, which has happened in the past. So I think um, 
we did did okay we just got um, the uh, edge of it animals look okay it's breeding time for goats so because the Billy's in with the girls we'll be having goats goat Excuse me, goat babies, uh, January, February. Yippee, wintertime goats.